All right. Well, I am just a little bit early, but you know what? It's just what we're going to do tonight. So um, hopefully you will find me soon, whether you decide to watch me live or watch me on the replay. I'm really grateful that you're here. My name is Christy Hillock. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Salt Lake City, Utah, and my business is CJ Card Creations. So welcome. I'm here every Thursday night, hey Janie, at 7.30 Mountain Time. So I hope that if you enjoy this evening or any of my other videos, you will check us out, um, you know, every Thursday. All right, so um, some news. I've got product shares coming, so I'll post the link for that. My next class to go kit is coming, and if I think about it. I'll pull those cards. I didn't pull them already, so it might might not happen. But anyway, it uses the season of chic bundle, which is beautiful and I love it and I think that you will too. And let's see, I can show you. Oh, so this is in the annual catalog on page 99 and it's season of chic because it covers really all of the seasons. So, I hope that you will consider that class if you're interested. Hey, mom. And um, the product shares. So hopefully you will be receiving the new mini catalog and the celebration catalog that I've sent to my current customers. And if you need a catalog and you don't already have a demonstrator, please let me know. I would love to get you one. Um, but it's coming. And so with every new catalog, I do product shares where you get just a little bit of all the new paper or a little bit of all the new ribbon for you know a fraction of the cost but that way you can really try everything out and see what you like before you invest in a full pack of something so those are fun and then the next paper pumpkin is called sending good thoughts and it coordinates with the vintage bottle punch that was my june class to go so i think that it's going to be a really nice Kind of chill set so you might want to look at subscribing for that and in case you haven't already i have a um, link to aweber posted at the top of this business page on facebook um, so i'm collecting emails for my um, weekly email and i changed platforms recently which is why this is the thing so if you were getting my emails before and you noticed you haven't had one in a minute, then please make sure that you're signed up. And if you would like to get dimensions from the cards that I make every week or any of the other updates that I share, make sure that you do get on that email list. And in-person class is on July 11th at six. And I think that's it. So what I wanted to do tonight is just focus on the kits that Stampin' Up! has. Um, the reason for this in part is because they're fun and they are quick and easy for when you need something just really fast. But they are also just really creative that you can't get a lot of these things without actually getting a kit. Um, and right now they are buy one, get one half off, which is always fantastic. So I'm going to show you a few, but I did actually remember to grab the kit or not the kit, but the, the class to go cards for July. So just show these to you so you can get a sense of the colors and the style of the cards. So I would love to get one of those for you as well. So this card is actually just something that I whipped up quickly from the supplies in the kit that we're going to focus on tonight. So this piece of printed paper and then all the stamps were in the kit and I just thought it was really cute. So bright and cheerful. So there's that. The first kit that I'm gonna show you, hey Aunt Pat, thanks for being here. This one is called Robot Buddies. And initially I was like, oh, that's awfully cutesy, really more juvenile than what I go for. But I decided that it would be really nice for Jonah either to have cards ready to go or just to make for himself. So each of our kits comes 
ready for you to put the projects together. Some of them include stamps and some of them don't. This one actually does include stamps, as you can see, and it also includes two ink spots in this one and then a nice block so that you can mount your stamps to stamp them. And then these little googly eyes are fun. And then all of the pretty patterns and colors. It's just a really cute little kit. So there is that. And then they all come with full color instructions, which is very helpful. And I think they also all come with a link to a video. So that's that one. And then I really hate doing this, showing you things that you can't get right now. But I want you to see the quality of the kits more than just the particular kit. So this one is unorderable at the moment, but it is called Million, uh, Million Thanks or Millions of Thanks. So again, cute stamp set that obviously you can use on other projects. And then an ink spot. And you know what? I didn't realize I hadn't actually opened this one. So again, these kits are all inclusive. The only thing you have to provide, and this is not even always the case, but uh, your own adhesive. So this includes, it looks like there's a block and some matte dots, which are really nice. And then this one also has a few dimensionals. And this is a little bit richer colors than the Robot Buddies, but printed envelopes. And then all of the card bases. And these are like clear embossed. That's really fun. And then pretty die cuts and printed paper and stickers. So, oh wow, I love that. So these, this one I think is definitely one for you to watch for it to come back in stock because it is so nice. And essentially everyone needs a thank you card at some point, right? So a million thanks is what that one's called. And now I'm going to show you the one that we are actually going to do tonight. So, it is called uh, Love This Memory. So again, stamps, block, ink. This one actually included a roll of Karen tape, which is a really strong adhesive, so that's really nice. And then this awesome washi tape, so that will be fun. And then all of these different stickers and die cuts and um, just printed paper panels. Say that three times fast. These stickers are amazing. And then you get down to more die cuts that you can stamp on and the actual notebook. And it is just really cute, short. It would be a nice thing to give to someone for, you know, a little gift as a reminder of something that you've done together. And then her are instructions and I'm not going to follow it exactly because you know I never do. And you don't have to, but you also really can if you want to. So I'm just going to start with um, pulling in. I'm glad you're liking them. So I went today, have you guys printed pictures lately? Drop me a comment. I'd love to know if anybody is still doing that. But I went today and printed just a bunch at Walgreens. So my dear friend Sarah, I mentioned last week, was in town for a couple of weeks. And we had such a wonderful time. And so I went back through my phone camera roll and found a whole bunch of pictures of us and then also a bunch of the ones from the last couple of weeks. And so I've got those that we can stick in this. And I think that we will just start with, I don't like to do the cover page first because I'm never quite sure what I want to put on it. So we're going to go to page two. And I will start just by tucking this in here so that it is ready for any kind of thing that I want to tuck in later. Um, we went to Dinosaur National Monument with Sarah and her husband, and we had such a nice time checking it all out there and just exploring, doing a little hiking. So that was one of the highlights of June, which I can't believe is already almost over. 
So there's that, and already that page looks beautiful. But what we can do is add a little bit with the stamping. And because I have a million blocks sitting around, I'm just going to use whatever I can grab first. So it comes with the Parakeet Party ink. So we will just add a couple of fun little arrows, maybe. Hmm. Nope, I don't really like that one oriented that way. So we'll be done with that stamp. But I think that we should add, start somewhere because, you know, this is our first page. So it seems like a reasonable, reasonable stamp to use. So if you'll remember with photopolymer stamps, they can be flexible. And so sometimes it's hard to get them completely straight with this one. What I did, I'm oh, sorry, get my head in the, in the shot there. Okay. So I just kind of made sure it was straight, but an easier way would be to lay it out stamp side down. And that way it will be the way you want it when you pick it up with your block. So we have that little page. And over here, I think I'm just going to put one of me and Sarah. And you can tell that I had Emily after this picture was taken because I look much older now. <laughs> so I love her, but she has aged me dramatically. And then I really like these corners. Um, so we are going to use those. So hopefully you're all having a good summer so far. And it actually feels like summer. We this evening had a surprise thunderstorm that canceled Jonah's baseball game. But oh my gosh, it's so nice out there. And just not what we were expecting at all. So it makes it really, I don't know. I always remember those warm summer thunderstorms, but we hadn't had any yet this year. So this was nice. All right. So I think I will stick this. And so the way this paper is dotted is awesome because it looks cute but it also helps you put things on straight so that is sure nice and then i think we'll go with the mango melody corner up here like that and we will get a parakeet party down here. So I don't know if I said this, but I sent Sarah back to Denver today and it was very sad. So my kids have loved having her here and it has been such a special thing to have her get to be with them and them just get to know her more. So I was really very sad to watch her drive away in her cute little Volvo. She's got this bright blue little hatchback Volvo that she's had for years. My neighbors have seen it enough that they know when my, my bestie's in town, it's kind of funny. So we will put smile every day right here. And that was sort of straight, but you know what? It's good enough. And turn the page. And I don't think that I'm gonna make you all watch every last one of these but i did want to really give you a sense of everything that is in this kit so let's see we could do that and i wonder you know that little smiley face is a little too small for there but I do really like that panel of hearts. So I'm kind of not loving the size on this. 
I'm glad you like it. I think that it is beautiful and I'm also gonna cut it in half. So, I, I really just always take things as suggestions rather than rules. And hopefully watching me do that will help make you a little braver with some of your crafting as well, if you're not already. Um, the nice thing is that it's paper. So if you hate it, you just start over. But I really think that most things, most ideas can be finagled to what you want them to be. So let's bring this down towards the bottom and see if I have a picture that works well here. So we we went to tea. That's kind of one of our things. We go to tea. Um, and so we were in, um, I can't remember now what it's called, but there's a, a really beautiful castle in Colorado Springs that we had tea at and wore funny hats. So, um, I think I could crop that picture down. We were at a restaurant that was really nice. But, you know, in small towns, you never know what you're going to get. So we were quite excited to find this place. All right. So we will put this like that. And she's actually driving right now. So I don't know if she will catch this on replay or not, but I think she will be really honored. She has been hugely supportive of my card business and she sends them out to people all the time. So I think that she's a very fitting subject for this little project. And that looks pretty straight. Tear and tape, as long as you don't rub it down, you've got a little bit of wiggle room. Not a ton, but, oh, thank you. I'm glad you're liking it. Okay, and so here I want to bring in, what do we think, does that go? I think it'll be all right. And I just want both edges torn. So we'll do like that. <laughs> oh, Emily. Pictures are really fun to look at. You just kind of forget because we're so used to having them all on our phones. But the actual printed ones are really special. Okay, so I'm going to bring this little sticker sheet out and just throw a heart on here like that. And then I can always come back in and write notes about where these were taken or what we were up to, that kind of thing. So I'm going to leave just a little bit of space there. And... I think that we need a flirty flamingo smiley face here. What do you think? Does that work? I think that'll be good. So as you can see, no real rhyme or reason. I'm totally not following the instructions. So you just kind of pick what you like and what pictures you think fit well and get it done. Because as much as we all want our memory keeping done, I don't think any of us actually spends a whole lot of time on it. Everyone that I talk to about scrapbooks and any of the photo books that you can do online, it's like, oh yeah, we're, we're a little behind there. <laughs> so, all right, get that done. And now you know if this was a card, I would totally pop up that little piece, but 
we are just going to put it flat so that this book closes. And so I keep pulling it off screen, but this is the wax backing on the Terran tape. And it's really, really easy to remove. But if you have any issues with it, you can always grab the pointy end of your scissors or your take your pick tool and just kind of pry it up a little bit that way. So I think we just need a couple of little hearts here. And You know, I always think things should be in threes. So we'll go ahead and get this little heart up here. Like that. And then I think I'll just do a little cloud thing there. Now I've lost my stamps. So I am keeping an eye on the time because I don't want to keep you guys over even though this is kind of a different project. So, and I do have a couple of other things that I want to show you. So I'm just going to put the best on here and I love that these are all stickers. I really need to use more of my adhesive backing sheets so that all of the little die cuts that I do are easier to fiddle with. All right, so there is that. And then I wanted, mm, nope, I want the bigger one. So just clean these in my very clean but very stained chamois here. And I might as well do them all while I'm at it. And certainly if you have any of the coordinating colors of ink, you could bring those in as well. But I wanted you to see what all you can do with just what comes in this cute little box. So we are going to grab this one now. And do you like that? Just so. Okay. So that is our first two pages, four pages. Not sure. Depends on how you count things. So we'll do that and then. So I told you tea is one of our things. Something else is just a lot of outdoor time. So that was, look at that little baby Emily. Oh my goodness. That was at Bryce Canyon, I think, a few years ago, two years ago. Yeah, right after COVID started. Um, so those pictures are really fun. And I didn't realize I printed that many, so I'm not sure that I can fit all of them in into a two-page spread but I mean it's also really hard to trim them down look at her fluffy hair it's so funny oh hey Joe I didn't know you were on here so yes she was teeny tiny small back then and I mean two years it's not really that long but oh my goodness so I'm just trimming down one of these pictures quickly and oh look at that it fits perfectly now so we can go ahead and put that in and we did Bryce Canyon in June a couple of years ago and it was cold up there it's much higher elevation so that's why Joe has that fuzzy I don't even know what you call those things they're like fleece blankets that have a zipper and feet and stuff for babies and it, they're so cute. So, and again,
again, I'm just using the tear and tape that came in the kit for all of the pictures too, because it's just a little bit easier than liquid glue would be here. So, and then I don't like it when my pictures get fingerprinty, so that's why I'm using my sleeve. Um, I was gonna see if there's a fun sticker here. I think maybe we'll just do the photo corner again, like that. And next, oh my goodness, look at that one. But I don't really want to cut my face off and I don't really want to crop out any of the scenery. So that might end up over there. And I could cut this down just a little bit. So aren't you guys glad that you're experiencing my brand of scrapbooking? I have considered getting into actual scrapbooking with stamps and you know, all of the printed paper and stuff. And I had actually done one when I was in college that I was really proud of, but I am just not, not sure that I need a bunch of scrapbooks sitting around, so I haven't committed yet. All right. I think I'll get this side of this spread done and then I will call it good for the night. But I do hope that you're enjoying seeing something a little different and also that you saw how to use some of these components to turn them into cards as well. So that when you have leftover things, you know what to do with them. Um, there we go. So to decide what else I should use. I like these cute little arrow stickers, so we'll pull in one of those. It really, Utah is amazing. All of the different um, scenery that you can find, and it's just beautiful. So Janie, I didn't realize that you did scrapbooking. That's fun to know. But I could see how it would be really enjoyable as a, you know, kind of a social event too. So I think we might just have to put that all on a page by itself. And I'll come back and decorate it later. But if you enjoyed this, I would love it if you would share this video to your Facebook page. Um, if you do share, please make sure you come back and write shared in the comments because it doesn't, it doesn't show me unless you, um, for a lot of people, it doesn't show. So then I can't um, put you in the drawing, which speaking of, Julie O'Neill won this week. So I have a prize for her. All right. I am going to call that good there and close up the ink pad before I manage to completely dry it out. Okay, so that's that. The last thing that I was going to show you, so Celebration has a join special that's coming and it includes this beautiful planner in addition to all of the usual benefits of signing up. So I just wanted to show you quickly. Um, and I might have shown you before, but I can never remember what I've done from week to week. So it's got sticker sheets and little pouches, and it goes all the way through 2023. And then these beautiful dividers, and you get um, kind of a planning page, monthly focus. You get a month at a glance, and then you also do your weekly priorities and goals. So it's really nicely organized. Uh, I was going to see, oh, more stickers. And then, like I said, I've got a stack like that thick of the other sheets that just don't fit in here. So it comes with this, and then it also comes with this adorable stamp set 
that you can use for highlighting or adding to your notes because you want your planner to be fun and, and cute so that you enjoy looking through it. And then it includes these three notebooks as well. One is lined, one is blank, and one is the cute dots that we were just using in our memory kit. So if this is something that you're interested in, you can only get it right now if you're a demonstrator. And then starting July 1st, you can only get it as a join benefit. So if you have any questions about that, please let me know. I would love to answer them for you. And I'm going to set this back here and try to find Julie's prize quickly. <laughs> I know it's here. There we go. All right. So that is kind of the highlight of what we got up to today. So I'm just going to get the lights back on and we will switch camera views and there we go okay well thank you for joining me tonight and if you catch the replay i am really glad that you were able to watch that as well i hope that you have a wonderful weekend and i will see you soon bye <laughs>